Good afternoon. I'm not a politician. I'm a rabbi. And I usually don't like to get involved in anything outside of rabbinics. But there's a video that disturbed me, and I'd like to address that video. There's a man who's very talented and quite charismatic. His name is Chris Matthews. But Chris Matthews is a bully and semi-intelligent. When he doesn't like what you're saying, he just cuts you off. So let me just say something to Chris Matthews, if he'll allow a 70-year-old rabbi to disagree with him. How can you cut taxes and not increase the deficit? The answer is that when you decrease taxes, you actually uh, increase the amount of revenue you collect in the end. And even if you don't, you also make it uh, easier for people to earn money. They have more of an incentive to earn money. When they have more of an incentive to earn money, they earn more money. They'll try harder and you get more taxes. They've actually done this many times. Ronald Reagan pushed through that taxes went from a higher bracket of 70% to 28%, and they actually increased the amount of revenue. And the result of reducing the taxes actually started, kick-started, the greatest economic recovery in American history. So that's your answer, Mr. Uh, Matthews reduce taxes to a certain level and you actually increase the amount of taxes that you collect because the economy gets better. Does that require a great a genius? No. All it requires is stop disrupting the person who's trying to explain this to you.